guys. Um, I'm back at it again. I'm working on my campaign for North Africa spreadsheets, just doing some updates, filling them out, figuring out what to add, make it cleaner and easier. Um, I worked up here basically as you can see you have anti um, anti air anti armor and close assault so each one has um, each one has an ammo expense or ammo cost so anti air costs two as you can see I put it here so I put two dot three dot two again this will cost two this if I used um, anti armor will cost me three ammo points and um, close assault will cost me um, two ammo points since it's a, it's a armor unit. Armor units, guns, and heavy infantry, um, close assault, ammo points cost two. If you're just a regular infantry, it only costs one ammo point per, um, per TOE. So I'm just cleaning up my spreadsheet. I'm working right now on the 15 Panzer Division. And I will work on one other and then I can just um, cut and paste and drop uh, other divisions into this master spreadsheet um, that I can use for all different divisions inside campaigns for North Africa. And then I can throw it on my table and start playing. Um, not going to do it on Vassal. Don't like Vassal. Um, I prefer it on the, on the table. That's why I buy the games to actually play the physical game. So, um, yeah. So right now I'm just working down from here down. And um, cleaning up this old spreadsheet that I have in front of me. There are things that I'm going to add, so let's take the headquarters for instance. Um, you pay one, one store per TOE. Um, I'm also going to make it that you have to pay one water per TOE. So the one slash T means one total. Because of the reason why I'm doing this, the game doesn't have you paying for water nor for fuel for headquarters, but it does have you pay for store. Um, you can have a division counter, I mean a uh, headquarter counter by itself without all these units underneath it. And so it still has to move. So it just makes sense to give fuel and water. And uh, motorized units need water to move besides fuel so that is why I am also giving it water and fuel for the headquarters so I will do it for this one as well um, let me fix all the headquarters and this headquarters will get water Okay, so these are complete. Um, let's go over to here. This here is my store. So one T four dash P. So four um, slash P means four per TOE. So basically to feed, um, let's take this unit here, to feed these units you'll take 7 TOE times the 4 which will give you 28 um, st store points that you need. Let's fix this. And here, headquarters will definitely need some water. And the water is one per T 
TOE, so this this is all correct. And we can just do this as well. One T four P and the pioneer I believe gets Check the Pioneer one, Engineer. Do I have that correct on mine? Let me just see something, fellas. Um, headquarters and Engineer units require only one store per... Okay, so only one. This headquarters has a store, has water, has a fuel rate, fuel capacity, and how much you spend. All set. Everyone else has theirs. This engineer, it's one total. It's not one per. Okay, now we're down by our guns. Let's see our guns here. All right, so so this can do barrage. It can do anti-armor and close assault. So barrage is going to cost four ammo points. Um, anti-armor is three ammo points, and since it's guns, um, close assault will cost two. Um, same thing will happen down here. Four point three point two. And same over here. 4.3.2. Let's fix these. Okay. This is 4 per. 4 per. And 4 per. Or storage points per. All right. One per. And I believe we're done here. This is for attachments. I don't do anything here now because uh, you write these in. Anytime you have an attachment, you write them in, and then when you move them to some some other division, you'll just erase them off your paperwork, your spreadsheets. Uh, because I print these out, these are not um, going to calculate anything for me. It's just, it's just um, a master sheet that I can just write on. So it looks like we are complete. All right, and this over here represents um, barrage. This represents um, anti-armor and close assault. Hmm. If I make them bigger, I can do something like that. Should I just do this? No, I'll just leave it like that. Let me, um, let me print this out.
and that way I can check it with my other um, sheets. This has to be corrected over here. Uh, oh, we are good. All right, fellas. Um, thanks a lot for coming by. I will talk to you guys later um, regarding this game when I start it up again. Alright, talk to you later. Be good.